Every week on the PGA Tour, the best players in the world are playing for a bucket load of cash, and they are followed by a fleet of trailers and trucks filled with the most modern golf equipment out there. They also have some of the best fitters in the world working in those trucks. The newest truck that's out here on the PGA Tour, and one that is one of the most impressive, is from Cobra. Let's go check it out. Wow. Ben, James, how you boys doing? David, how are you, man? Good to see you, man. Good to see you. So, uh, I like your new rig. This is pretty cool. What do we got here? This is our fresh new rig. It's actually replacing our old rig, which was uh, tired and a little bit old. She was working on her 20th season. Wow. So uh, okay. we expanded just a little bit. I think we maybe have, I don't know, four or five times the amount of space that we had previously. Mm -hmm. So not only is our workshop bigger, our lounge area is a lot bigger, we actually also added a locker room. Ben, I know you do a lot of the building and stuff like that. You also build, but you also drive. I do. How does this baby handle? It handles like a dream. Uh, <laughs> what kind of mileage do you get in something like this? I just got to know. I thought it was about eight miles to the gallon. Well, as long as it's on the company card and not out of your personal credit card, then go, go right ahead. Show me in some of the drawers. What do we got here? Like, number one, you, you've got the hats for, do, do people just come in here and steal all of your stuff? Yeah, I mean, it looks great. Yeah, pretty much. And I, you know, <laughs> our, our old truck, we didn't have a cool display like this. So um, yep. I'm thinking now that we have this cool display, it's probably oh, going to wow. get uh, pillaged a lot more. Yes, I would imagine so the hats are going to go the, pretty quick. Keep the stock in the back. Okay. So it's pretty convenient. Obviously a cool way to display. Very cool. And then over here, the sort of tools of the trade, I would imagine all these things are individually labeled. Go, go through some of these drawers. What are we looking at? Yeah, so this is uh, the area we're going to do any wedge work, like stamping, paint fill, all that okay. kind of stuff. So James put together a really cool drawer here that's about as bespoke as it gets, where, I mean, everything wow. is literally carved out for all the individual uh, you know, stamping equipment. Obviously. Everything has a place and everything in its place. Everything has a place. Very cool. So okay. it's pretty, uh, pretty cool. We're in the process of filling these all back up. So we get our dark speeds, nines, ten fives, X's down below. Because you're fitting not just PGA Tour players and such like that, but you get to do a lot of VIP fittings and a lot of things during pro ams. You'll have all kinds of people coming in and out of this facility, right? Yeah, I mean it's you know it's obviously the truck itself is mostly used on the PGA Tour, but to yep. that point, yes, there's. Everybody's got a friend that's, uh, you know. Yep, and that's an important thing is that, that you guys are gonna be out here and to have a place that's gonna service your athletes. I mean, this needs to be, to some degree, like a traveling home for Cobra Puma Golf, right? Oh, 100%, I mean, it, it is a home. It's just as much a home as it is our, you know, our workplace, so. Yep. Wow, so you got just, these are more drivers down here, yep. and then. More drivers, fairways, fairway hybrids. So everything for the, player, the players could need. Do you have wedges here too? Yep. Yeah, wedges are all hiding in these over here. So basically, within this one truck, players can come in and they can say, I want this, yeah. or I have this. Is there any repair that's gonna basically be needed to take place, any kind of building that you can't do, or can you, you can do everything right here? Yeah, I mean, we're fully capable to pretty much do anything and everything we'd be able to do in our shop back in Carlsbad, so. You know, that's how it's set up. We don't want to have to, you know, if we have to specially make something, we want to specially make it here. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of the purpose of it. Um, and then wrapping around this and this, this, these two grinders, this, both of these are usually used for, specifically for wedges, okay. so wedge grinding. So they're set up on this side, and then the wedge building stamping is also on this side. So James has it laid out, so everything is easy. It's measure, turn around, cut, yep. polish. And then if we go right back here to where James is, I can see this looks like a place where you would build finished golf clubs, obviously measure stuff. Yep. What's this cool guy? It looks like some kind of a gun this over here. This is our hot melt machine. So we okay. need to add head weight or change the CG location of a head. Mm -hmm. um, we'll do it with uh, the hot melt gun. Gotcha. And that's, you literally inject a, a goo kind of stuff like that right into the right. head. So that sort of speaks to the level of precision that you guys can get to is that when players and golfers go into their store at their local place, you know, they're gonna see a driver that's nine degrees, 10, five. You have to live in a world that's even much more precise than that. You're, you're doing a lot more stuff, right? Very, very precise, and these guys are very specific on where they need it. And so when we get into things like this, I would imagine, because this is where the billing happens, you, you've got pretty much every different shaft, every different kind of piece of equipment to go along. It's not just your heads, but you work in partnership with other brands to make sure that whatever your player needs, they're, they're going to have access to all this stuff. Yeah, so all steel parts are going to be in this bank of uh, okay. cabinets. And then we'll go over here, and this is our, our graphite. Stuff. The latest and greatest in graphite. Right. Gotcha, cool. 
Now, since you guys are here, Ben, so much, I would imagine, as you sort of said, this this ends up being home like home, sort of like the pantry, if the, in case the kids come over or uh, we're, we're, we need a little sweet treat. Exactly, yeah. We try to definitely pride ourselves on having the strongest snacking on the tour. <laughs> yep. um, James has always been super mindful of it, just from a selection and the stock standpoint. So, you know, we did previously in a much smaller space, and now we've got all this room, so the snack game is, is going. Well, I mean, oh. bust open like those, like the top drawer. Oh, sure. The okay, one. so we've got the nuts here. Yeah, we've yeah. got the different kind of things here. It's nice and it's fun, but at the same time, like, it serves a purpose. When yeah. you guys are having athletes coming in, if Ricky Fowler is going to drop in, if Gary Woodland is going to be here, you want this to be a place where they can hang out. Yeah. I mean, you have to keep track of stuff like that, right? Yeah. And, you know, getting even just right down to the snacks they may like, whether it's a, you know, a Go Macro bar or mm -hmm. some Swedish fish, you know, mm -hmm. you name it, like, or the kind of coffee, like, we got Ricky's uh, favorite coffee bean, so we can grind it up on our new coffee makers. You know, to that point, the, the connection that we have with our staff, I mean, it is, it's important. We obviously want to look after them as absolutely best as we can. That's something we pride ourselves on as a, as a business and uh, as employees. So, you know, little things like this and these little bespoke things really do, like you were saying, you know, there's a reason behind all these things. You know, it's been a long day already, and uh, sometimes you just need a break. I, yeah, you know, you, you play in a pro-am, you build a putter or a wedge, and uh, you need to sort of chill out a little bit. And, oh, look, it goes even further back. I don't know if these were a great idea or if we just created the world's greatest napping spot. Folks, thanks very much for showing around your truck. Thanks Looks really, really by. cool. Yeah, thanks for swinging by, man. Awesome. Obviously, we're uh, pretty stoked to show it off, so. I can tell you should be. Yeah, thanks. thank you.